G'day lads and lasses, and I'm fucking back, not by my own will, but because BuzzFeed's come at it again with another stupid Americans ask Australians dumb fucking questions, and in this article it's labelled Australians answer Americans dumb questions. BuzzFeed Oz volunteered to answer our American colleagues' burning questions. Turns out they're really confused about Australia. No fucking shit, Sherlock, it seems that they are. And considering it's BuzzFeed Australia answering BuzzFeed America, you can guarantee that this article is full of absolute shit. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this as a country boy and answer questions that City Slickers have tried to answer, but fucking horribly failed at doing it. So without further ado, let's get into more stupid fucking American questions. <laughs> Now this kept coming up in the last video, so before I begin, keep in mind this is BuzzFeed. They're a bunch of fucking idiots, so naturally, they're not going to represent the American public. Now if you want to look at the article, it is linked down below, but I can guarantee you you're just going to be absolutely disappointed with the way these Australians have answered the question. But here's the question. Where do people actually live in Australia? In a fucking house, dickhead. Why do you like Vegemite? Are you fucking serious right now? Vegemite's delicious, you can put it on your toast, you can even eat it with the vegetables, and it's because you Americans eat it by a fucking spoonful. What the fuck? You're meant to just put it on your toast. You're not meant to take a whole fucking spoon of it and eat it. Even Australians don't do that. That's just retarded. Fucking drongos. What are your thoughts on Outback Steakhouse? Are fried onions really an Australian delicacy? To the second question, no. To the first question, never been there, so I don't really know. Does anyone actually drink Fosters? Yes, I've had Fosters before. It's delicious. Delicious, it tastes like honey mixed with beer. And one of the Australian BuzzFeed people said, no, like seriously, you can't even buy it. I've tried, I'm not sure why we can't even buy it. I can literally walk five minutes down the road to the Bolo and get a six pack of Fosters. It's not that bloody difficult to do. Are those burgers with the beets and pineapple and all that shit really that good? It's called a lot burger and yes, it's delicious. Do you have Dunkaroos in Australia? Yes, even when the Australian BuzzFeed people said, I think like in the 90s, question mark. No, when I was going to school, which was in the 2000s, we still had Dunkaroos and they're still around today and they're fucking delicious. Koalas, tell me everything. They're fuzzy, they're not a bear, and they have really sharp fucking claws. Don't mess with them. How much of Australia's flora and fauna will actually kill you? Pretty much everything. What's it like living in constant fear of bugs and snakes that will eat you in your sleep? If you don't sleep on the ground outside, you're not gonna have a problem, fuckwit. Is it actually safe to go scuba diving or will a microscopic squid murder me? Why are you scared of a microscopic squid? Things we worry about when we go swimming are sharks and fucking snakes and all that jazz, but you're worrying about a microscopic squid. What are you supposed to do when you encounter a kangaroo? You have two options. You can not fuck with it, or you can fuck with it. Simple as that. Have you ever seen inside a kangaroo's pouch? What's it like in there? Is it warm? Are you fucking perverted or something? We do not practice bestiality in Australia, and we don't go looking in kangaroo's pouches. I don't even know where that question comes from. Do you swim with sharks? That can either be a choice or completely by accident, but most of the time, yes, there is a shark in the water with us, but it can be a reef shark or it can be a great white, so if you get eaten, well, it's really your own fault. What survival tips would you guys give a tourist visiting Australia? Don't ask stupid fucking questions. Do Australians feel like it's weird that so few cast members have lost were Australian when the flight originated in Sydney? Didn't even think about it, and I don't really fucking care. How do you live without Netflix? We got Netflix in Australia, dickhead. Are Australian people all more attractive, or do you just hide the unattractive one? What kind of a fucking question is that? What are your thoughts on Hugh Jackman? He's alright. Fuck, marry, kill Hugh Jackman, Naomi Watts, Nicole Kidman. Keep in mind these are adults writing these articles. Just keep that in mind. Writing fuck, marry, kill. Probably in their 30s too. Who is the most famous beloved Australian? Steve Owen. Rupert Murdoch. Why? I could ask the same question about you and Donald Trump. Neck nomination. Why? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that originated in New Zealand. Do you wear khaki shorts in real life like in the movies? If you've ever travelled north of New South Wales, yes, most of the time we do because it's fucking hot up here. The schoolboys in Australia really have to wear shorts like the guys in ACDC. Well, in Australia we have this thing called school uniforms. So yes, we do. How much that episode of The Simpsons where they go to Australia is realistic. Is booting a thing? If booting you mean getting a kick up the ass for doing something wrong, yes, that's a thing. Most of it's accurate because in Australia we are just like we're depicted in the cartoons because everyone knows the way you're depicted in popular culture is exactly the way you are. Which way does water really go down the drain? Down the drain? 
dickhead. What is it like to leave your country to travel for months at a time? The drive from my house to the nearest supermarket takes months at a time. We don't have to leave the country to travel for months at a time. I have heard before that Australians are, as a people are particularly racist. Wow, wow, okay. Is this true or an exaggeration? Does it compare to the United States? Well, unlike the United States, we don't have white police officers shooting black males for absolutely no reason. So, there. Logic busted and I've also offended you, so fuck off. Are you more flattered or more insulted when someone mistakes your accent for British? Insulted. Are you insulted when I mistake your accent for Canadians? Yes, you are. You just answered your own question. Are you all descendants of prisoners? Yes, no. Is everyone in your country descended from the first settlers that arrived there? As a bunch of Irish slaves turned convicts sentenced to a hellhole continent, how can you stand having the tyrant queen lord over you? First of all, it's not a hellhole continent. Second of all, we're not all fucking Irish, dickhead. Do you see my hair being orange and me going, dilly dee potatoes, fucking idiot. Thirdly, not all of us convicts. Fourthly, you should see the Australian BuzzFeed answers to this. Yeah, she's pretty hot. Yeah, I'd like to put a little prince in her. Bow down, bitches. What do these people even do for a fucking life? Did you ever try to smoke eucalyptus as yet? Nah, I'm fucking done. These questions are stupid. Did I ever try to smoke eucalyptus? So that's it, lads and lasses. I'm fucking done with these questions. They were absolutely retarded on the part of American BuzzFeed people and on the part of Australian BuzzFeed people trying to answer them. Now, get the whole idea that this article was meant to be funny. It wasn't. It's just, ugh. Oh, the only people who laugh at this are people who fucking post on Tumblr. So that brings us to the end of this Aussie Answers BuzzFeed part two. If you wanna see a part three, remember to tell me in the comments down below. My website is up and running now. All the annotations you need to go check everything out are in the thing down below. Same with my social media links, which I now post on regularly. And in the last video I uploaded, I said the first three people to retweet will get a personal roast in the next video. Now, because I'm not that popular, I've only got two people fucking retweeting, so fuck the rest of you next time retweet the thing. But it's the same concept for this one. First five people to comment down below we'll get a personalized roast now it's on to the personalized roast time for the two people who retweeted firstly we had travis who said do your worst you little bitch now travis from checking out your social media you've got a pretty large fucking forehead and it's very very sizable so sizable in fact the moon calls he wants it back and secondly ben egan Ben Egan, I've got something to tell you. Go and check your birth certificate, because I'm pretty sure you'll find out that it's actually an apology letter from the condom company. Yes, you're a mistake. <sighs> I'm sorry, Ben, that joke's overused. Just like your mum. <laughs> Tell me down below if you enjoyed the roast. Tell me down below if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Although I just said comment, but go ahead and do it. That's all from me. I'll see you all in the next video. And BuzzFeed, get your shit together and stop asking stupid fucking questions. Bye. H R M.